Hi, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today we're going to be talking about what exactly is Photoshop? Theme tune! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yo! <laughs> okay, so my dance today seemed very celebratory. That's because I am very excited today because this is part number one of my complete Photoshop training course. So if you want to learn all about Photoshop, then subscribe to my channel and definitely like this video. Anyway, let's jump in and let's talk about what is Photoshop? Well, essentially it is a creative hub that literally allows you and your creative minds to go on whatever journey you want to go on and then actually create it. But I want to be specific about this as well. So. Photoshop isn't about going in there and manipulating somebody's body and then ruining them. That essentially is when you say, oh, it's been photoshopped. It can be used for that. And maybe you wanna go ahead and do that and that's what you're allowed to do with it. But it has way, way more powers than just that. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about it as a creative person. So I, I have a video all about Lightroom, which is essentially for photographers where you might, you take a photograph, you then want to get creative with it and export it. Lightroom harnesses that and allows you to do it, but it only allows you to edit what is in that photo file. Now, Photoshop is completely different in the way that it's not about going, well, I'll edit what's already there. Photoshop is a blank canvas. Zero is on that canvas. You get to literally decide the size of your canvas, the shape of your canvas, and then, you decide what to put on that canvas. It's like a painter, okay? He can go out and say, oh, what, what, what type of canvas do I want? What size do I want? And when they've got it, they can say, okay, well, I wanna paint this color. Well, that's amazing, because then you can paint another color. But what's amazing about Photoshop is there's, it's limitless to what you put on. You could throw, I don't know, Doritos onto it. I don't, why did I say Doritos? You, you could throw baked beans onto it or an egg on there or literally set it on fire. You can do whatever you want to that canvas and amazingly, you can set it on fire, burn it, and then go, mm, you know what, I really didn't want to burn it. So in Photoshop, you can go back and then take away that burn and then go back to where you were. And that really is the power of it. So Photoshop essentially, allows you to build different layers of different things on top of each other. And there are no limits to how many layers you have or what goes on a layer. So it could be a photograph, it could be a design element, it could just be a shape, it could be text, it could be a filter that changes the color of everything, or it could add an effect to something that changes everything, maybe just that layer or all the layers underneath. You can then mask out different areas. So you could essentially, basically you could go, oh, I want this person's body and I'm gonna throw this person's head on top of it. And then I'm gonna put it on this background, which means that they're standing on the top of the Empire State Building. And then I'm gonna put the Empire State Building and I'm gonna make sure that it's sitting on top of the moon. So now we're in space and it's on the moon. And then I'm gonna wrap text around that and I'm gonna make that say, aren't Photoshop tutorials by photos in color great. And that can wrap all the way around there. And then from that point, we can say, oh, we really like that, but we want to add a filter to this and make it all pink and blue. And then, great, that all looks amazing. And then what you can do is export it really huge, print it massive, and then you can print, have that image put on the side, back on the side of the Empire State Building in New York. So that's just where my head went. But that is the beauty of Photoshop. It's all about allowing yourself to get creative. Now, when learning Photoshop, there's a number of important things that I think you need to do. And that's number one, go through some of the basic elements of it. Learn each section specifically. You are never gonna learn how to do everything in Photoshop. For example, you can make videos in Photoshop. You can do 3D rendering. So everything I just said then, you could then render 3D around the side of a can. You could do anything you wanted. You could build an entire room that never existed inside Photoshop. But these are things that might not interest you. You might just want to do poster design for something. Well, you can do poster design in there too. You can do anything you want. You can just do photography manipulation. It's amazing. So think about what you want to use it for, then go down that path and learn it. 
Now, my training course is essentially going to walk you through all of the different tools in the left-hand panel, the workspaces, how it all works, the filters, the adjustment layers, how what, what are layers, what are um, masks, and all those things. I'm going to teach you the basics. But the thing is this. You learn the basics by working on different projects. But before you go into Photoshop, and this is where many people make mistakes and that's when they end up with wacky things, is they go into Photoshop and say, oh, I'm gonna do something. And then they just start importing stuff and adding stuff and adding layers and doing things. Photoshop is about being creative. And in my experience, creativity starts with you, not with the program, it doesn't start with Photoshop. It doesn't start even with a camera or whatever elements you're using it. It starts with you as a person. So think about how you wanna be creative, what you want to create. So for example, what I just described about that person with a head on top of the moon that was wrapped around the Empire State Building, I came up with this in my head, not in Photoshop. I can then go, okay, so now I need a picture of the Empire State Building, picture of a body and a head. I wanna add these color tones to it, the moon, the space, figure out what the text is, get all of those elements, and then I can go into Photoshop and magically create exactly what I wanted to do. Now that was a very complex thing that I came up with, but you might just say, well, I want this image to have this color tone with this text on it. Well, think about that before you go into Photoshop. Now, of course, when you're in there, you're gonna start getting creative and, and use different things in there, and that's the magic of it. But before you get going on any project, think creatively what you want it to be and then go in there. But before you can use Photoshop, really, you need to learn how to do it. So stay tuned to my channel because over the next, however long, years, I'm sure, but over the next six months or so, I'm gonna be literally uploading videos every single week, walking you through everything there is to know about Photoshop. Well, not everything, but the most important foundation that, can, that you can then build on to be really creative. So I, help, I, help, I hope that this video really described and helped you understand what Photoshop is. It's a program made by Adobe that allows you to put in basically all of your different creative ideas and put them onto one canvas in one place. Maybe you draw, you take a photo, you add text, you create some other design element shapes and things somewhere. Maybe you create things using your phone. You then put it all together inside Photoshop and that allows you to build a final image. You can also save your images inside Photoshop and then go back in and edit them later or you can export them as just JPEG files which will allow you to upload them to the internet. You can also do loads of other things inside Photoshop that I've never spoken about in this video but you're gonna learn a lot about Photoshop. It's an exciting place to spend your time, but don't get scared. Don't be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with Photoshop. It's this huge mountain. Well, remember, we're not looking to be a helicopter that drops you off at the top of the mountain. We're gonna stay at the bottom and we're gonna start walking up the mountain and it's not gonna be very steep at first, but by the end, by the end of my training course, you're gonna be so far up the mountain, you're gonna be able to understand it all and see the top of it. Anyway, I hope this made sense and definitely subscribe to my channel because you're gonna love my tutorials. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. <laughs>